Welcome to a new AI tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a text summarization app using LangChain. Let's start coding. So I'm in VS Code right now. You can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to close this welcome screen. Then I'm going to open Explorer and I'm going to create a notebook file like summarization2.ipymb. And now I'm going to select my kernel 3.11.4 also, I want to mention something that we are going to create a tool that can summarize text and then you can build user interfaces to it with using TKinter or Streamlit or similar apps. So it's completely up to you. You can upgrade it. So how I want to start is I firstly want to import the link chain and show you the link chain version that I'm using currently in this video because sometimes libraries gets updated and then some codes or codes working behind them can change. So I recommend you to install this version if you are going to code with me in this video. So how you can install this version is for the, let's say Windows side, you can say pip install link chain and you can specify the version like this. And for the Mac side, you can say pip3 install link chain 0 to 12, like this. And with that being said, we can continue with our imports from LangChain. By the way, you need to enter this into the terminal, like or the command line. You need to do that operation for installing the LangChain version that I have. So, in the import sides, we are going to import large language model chain from LangChain. The chains import LLM chain, and we are going to import OpenAI from from length chain LLMs, large language models, import open AI. And we are going to import prompt template from length chain .prompt. So from length chain .prompt, import prompt template. And next, what we are going to do is we are going to set our API key. So I will say import operating system and then I will say operating system.environment and I will define something like OpenAI API key and it's going to be starting with SK and then you are going to have the combination of numbers and letters I'm not going to share my API key but I'm going to be using GPT 3.5 turbo model which is free it's not free but how it's free I'm going to explain that like when you sign up for the first time on the OpenAI platform. They give you $5 budget and with that balance you can use this model for free. So for getting an API key you need to get to the OpenAI API Playground website. You can simply type API Playground OpenAI to Google and you are going to find that page. Then you need to get an API key generate one after signing up. So generating an API key is free and then you need to copy that API key for entering in here. I'm going to enter mine and then after deleting, I will re-record. Okay, our API key is ready. Now we are going to create a prompt template that will instruct the model to summarize the text input. Like I will say prompt template and I will say prompt template. I'm going to initialize it like we are going to give input variables text so it's going to be dynamic we are going to use this text in the template right now summarize the following text and show the most important parts or we can say write the most important parts of the text and then I will say like text like this and now what I'm going to do is I will fix this up like I will say text and we need to use three quotes like this otherwise it's not going to work yeah it's working now and then I will say summary is going to be in here like this great so actually we can make it simpler like let's say summarize the following text and it can be this simple so I'm going to make this run here we give our text input then we say in the templates summarize the following text 
we give the text and we want the summary. Great. So next step is going to be initializing the language model we have. So I will say large language model and it's going to be OpenAI. Then I'm going to specify the model like GPT 3.5 Turbo like this. And I don't want any type of depreciation errors. They are useless. So I'm going to quickly do import warnings. And then I will say warnings dot filter warnings. And I will say ignore like this. And now I'm not going to get any type of depreciation messages. Great. Now I'm going to create the summarization chain. The chain will connect the language model with the prompt template we created. So I will say summarization chain and it's going to be a large language model chain LLM is going to be LLM and prompt is going to be prompt template we created. So our chain is ready and we can run our chain. So let's test it out. What I'm going to do is I will say I'm going to create example texts from ChatGPT or Gemini. Doesn't matter. I'm going to use a language model and I will re-record in a second. Okay, I asked for a language model to generate me a text about artificial intelligence. So I will say example text and it's going to be like, let's say I'm going to paste it and it generated. By the way, I took it from the Gemini to Google's model. Artificial intelligence or AI refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and learn like humans. These intelligent machines can perform tasks such as recognizing speech making decisions and solving problems which typically require human intelligence. AI has various subfields including machine learning which focuses on the development of algorithms that allow machines to learn from and make decisions based on data. So great, let's test our chain. Like summary is going to be summarization chain that's run and we will pass example text like this. And there is an error, let me quickly check. So it says this is a chat model and not supported in this endpoint. Use this instead. So let's fix this out. So I'm going to do like I will come to the import side. I'm going to import chat open AI from chat models like this. I'm going to change my import. Now what I'm going to do is in the initialization side I will say like chat open AI instead of open AI and I'm going to initialize it again then I'm going to create my chain again and now I'm going to try to rerun and now we get our summary and let's print it. So that's why I showed my length chain version because sometimes it can change so we fixed it quickly with changing the chat open AI and importing it. So. It summarized like artificial intelligence or AI is the stimulation of human intelligence in machines that can think and learn like humans. AI includes subfields such as machine learning, which focuses on developing algorithms for machines to learn from data and make decisions. Okay, so it's working perfectly like it summarized. Let's check the length of the example text we have and length of the summary. So we will see it clearly. Yeah, it's it's the half size in terms of characters. And let's test that with a different text. So I'm going to ask to a language model like, I want a paragraph about Turkey and tourism on there. So I'm going to get my answer. Then I'm going to be recording again. So I got it. I will say Turkey text and it's going to be and I'm going to do a copy paste directly in here. Take it and paste it in here. So let's read about it. Turkey, a country that straddles both Europe and Asia, is a vibrant and diverse destination that attracts millions of tourists each year. Known for its rich cultural heritage, Turkey offers an enchanting blend of ancient history, stunning landscapes, and modern amenities, visitors can explore the bustling streets of Istanbul, where the historic Hagia Sophia and Blue Moscow stands as testaments to the country's Byzantine and Ottoman past. Beyond the city's 
Turkey's nature wonders such as the fairy tale rock formations of Cappadocia, the pristine beaches of the Turkish coast, and the ancient ruins of Ephesus provide endless opportunities for adventure and discovery. With its unique blend of East and West, Turkey offers a truly unforgettable travel experience that appeals to history buffs, nature lovers, and beachgoers alike. So great, let's get the length of this Turkey text and let's summary. So we will say summary is going to be summarize, summarization chain, not summarize, run, and I will give Turkey text. And now I'm going to print the summary. And we have Turkey is a vibrant, it's a little bit shorter, like I'm not going to read it. Let's check the length, if it's summarized or not. Yeah, it's it decreased more than half. So we have 364 characters in here and we can see that our tool is working perfectly. So let's summarize what we did in this video and then we can close. So I imported LangChain. I showed you my language LangChain version that I'm going to be using in this video. I make my pip installs like I showed you how you can install the same version with me. I didn't do that because I already have that version. Also, I can show you from there like pip3 show length chain. You are going to see the version I'm using. So I'm going to be closing that. We imported live language model chain chat open AI. After chat open AI, we first tried open AI, but we saw that GPT 3.5 turbo isn't supported on that side and we imported prompt template, then we imported operating system, we enter our API key, I talked about how we can get your API key. Next, we create a prompt template. By the way, feel free to specialize this, like summarize the following text, you can say like, I want only three sentences, or you can say, give the main topic in maximum four sentences. It's completely up to you, it will follow your comment, we created our prompt template, we give the text here, we use it in here dynamically, then we initialized our model GPT 3.5 Turbo in LLM, then we filtered out warnings, it doesn't matter, then we created our chain with combining large language model and the prompt, then I took some examples from language models and we tested our chain by running it and we can see that it's summarizing the text perfectly. Thanks for watching this AI tutorial. I have a playlist named Langchain and AI Tutorials where I have videos like this. You can check that playlist from the cards of this video. Also, I'm sharing a new data science video every week. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.